that beach cleaning program is now getting more funding from the city. KPIX 5's Kit Doe says it seems to be beneficial for everyone. So here's how it works. Anybody who needs the work just shows up here to the More for Less gas station every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday at 8 a.m. It pays $15 an hour. The shift is three hours long, and you get paid in cash at the end of the day. This has been so successful that the city of Half Moon Bay is now expanding the program. You can tell the crews have just come through because Poplar Beach looks immaculate even after a busy weekend. But this is typically what you see on a Monday morning. Hundreds of pounds of garbage, red cups, fast food wrappers, alcohol containers, and burnt logs. Lots of burnt logs. In their first year of the program, the mostly homeless workers have hauled away hundreds of bags totaling tons of debris. For our council and for staff, it was a no-brainer. John Dowdy is the public works director and says the city gladly voted to increase Increase the funding for the program from $60,000 to now $80,000 in its second year, saying for the public, the homeless, and the environment, it's a win win win. We've taken a lot of folks who struggle to find employment because of various challenges and issues in their lives, and they've been able to get work and regular work, establish work history. We've been able to clean up, you know, an area that was greatly in need. Eric DeBody is the executive director of Abundant Grace, who coordinates the program, and says with that payday comes something else, pride and confidence. That idea that homeless people don't work or don't want to work is false. And for people who are real struggling, to connect to their larger community, to, to be a part of meaningful work, and to see themselves as helping others in the community as well. In Half Moon Bay, Kitto, KPIX 5.